Hey everybody, today I want to talk to you about the Valoi copy stand that I've been using quite a bit recently. Uh, it is a really neat product. I like their equipment, the copy stand, as well as the film holders and the, the light. I bought all the equipment that I needed to do my film scanning from them, and it's a turnkey solution, a bit pricey, but for me, it's working out just fine. I'm going to do a whole video on the Valoi film scanning equipment in the process. Uh, meanwhile, I want to talk about this uh, this thing. This is the copy stand that comes with it. And I've modified this part. And the reason I modified it is because my camera mounts right on here. This is an Arca Swiss adapter. My camera has an Arca Swiss uh, dovetail on the bottom. And I could just mount this. And the second thing is this Arca Swiss adapter is solidly mounted on here. And finally, the third feature I want to point out is that this bracket is very firm. It's not moving up and down, not moving side to side. So this is the major change I made on the Valoi copy stand. The problem is the camera is just not that stable and you have to undo the screw and redo it every time you want to put the camera back on and take the camera off. I've got this Arca Swiss adapter plate on the bottom. Why don't I take advantage of that? So I bought this adapter from Amazon. It was about $12 and it mounts on any tripod using the quarter 20 screw. So that will easily go in the place of the camera on the end of the adapter. And here we go. I cinched that thumb screw thing on the back real tight to try to keep it from wiggling back and forth. And then I can put my camera in there and use the, the little thumb screw on the top to tighten things down. Another problem that I had with the original bracket was notice how it's got all that wibble wobbling going on. It's just not really tight on the 3030 channel. And I want to make it much more snug. It's a nice part, but we can do better. So here we are in FreeCAD, and this is the part that I designed. And you can see that I put these little bosses on the inside of the opening that will snugly hold the tubing. And you can see we've got this little channel in the front. That's where the Arca Swiss adapter is going to fit so that it doesn't swing side to side. And I replaced that round thumb screw thingamabob with a just a quarter 20 cap screw, the kind you use a uh, Allen key on. I always upload parts that I do to printables.com and I also upload the free CAD model so you can edit it yourself, make any changes you want. Here's a test part that I made in a pistachio colored PLA and you can see it came out very nice. The holes there, the and it, it's snug. It fit right on the channel. It was a little bit of a, a tight fit to get it on there, but it doesn't wiggle at all. So let's print the real thing. It takes a long time. This one, it looks like it took about eight hours. And so you just set it up and go to bed and hope for the best. It was mesmerizing. I could watch this all day long. And there's the finished part. I printed this in Prusament PET G. The reason I didn't use PLA was because PLA is subject to creep. And with the weight of the camera on the end, I didn't want it to be flexing over time. And there it is. And here I am using it in anger. It works just fine. This setup was beautiful. I'm really happy with the Valoi copy stand. It's working fine. This thing is, this this part especially, the base, is solid. I really like it. The older one had, it was made out of this channel. But this, I think it's a laser cut steel or something like that. This is not going anywhere. And the fact that I was able to make a bracket that fit my needs made me really happy. Everything else about this is just fine. And again, I'm going to do a whole video on the rest of the Valoi system. That's another video another time. So that's all I got for you today. Thank you for watching.